Good morning, everybody. Yeah, those days are getting longer. Look how light it is out here, and it's just a little bit after 7. Yes, yes. Um, hey, I'm sitting here still in my Steeler attire. Yeah, it's denial. It's denial, folks. But also, I'm also feeling kind of sad today because the Bills lost. This was perhaps one of the most exciting weekends of football ever. I mean... Even if you're not a big football fan, you could sit back and enjoy all these games because every single one of them came down to the final play of the game. And there are many today who are saying that the Bills-Chiefs game was perhaps the best, most exciting NFL game ever played, unless you're a Bills fan. But, oh, man, you know, my dear daughter, Emily from Rochester, texted me in the game. How's your heart doing, Dad? Wowzer, you know. And I'm thinking, thanks a lot, Emily. What do you think I am, some old geezer with a heart condition? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, hey, this is the setup for our psalm for today, believe it or not. Yeah, Psalm 71. It's, um, it's toward the end of the second book of the psalms it's divided into five different books don't forget and uh it also comes to an ending of the ones that are kind of dedicated or written by david it could be go either way we're not really sure but it really doesn't matter because now you could get the the sense as you're coming to the end of this portion of the psalms that the psalmist is getting up there in years this this psalmist is an old geezer and um he's got a few things to say to god in the psalms in you O lord i take refuge never let me be put to shame in your righteousness deliver me and rescue me incline your ear and save me and why because you are the rock of refuge a strong for fortress for you O lord are my hope my trust from my youth now, we're only going to do the first six verses of Psalm 71 for our lectionary this coming Sunday. But hey, this psalm is 20-some verses, I think 24 verses long. And you need to read the entire thing to get a good flow. Because it's just a back and forth, back and forth thing between the psalmist and, and speaking to God, saying, hey, you got to rescue me. you got to save me from my distress, from my enemies. It's kind of generic type of stuff, so it could fit into any type of situation in which you find yourself in difficulty and needing that strong rock to lean on. But time and time again, there's reference being made to my youth, um, my old age, as if you're in that right now. So that, that could be the starting point for this psalm and it, it could say a lot about who wrote it but it, it's it's a neat psalm because it does show that continual going back to god as your source of comfort and strength and protection in all phases of your life and it, it kind of shows that that as people we kind of waver between, yay, God, hey, you're my source of strength, and God, help me. Where are you? What happened to you? Back and forth, back and forth. Isn't that our lives? Come on, let's be honest. Isn't that the way we often live out our life of faith? Um, it seems to be saying, as I read this psalm, that's just the way it is. And be honest, that's the way it is but that doesn't mean god isn't there for us for you for me and god will in fact be our source of hope our source of strength our refuge as i said read all the verses of psalm 71 but these first six they give us a good indication of what the rest of the psalm says too so rest in it, and I like, I think verse 5 summarizes it all. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust. You, O Lord, are my hope, 
my trust. God's blessings be with you this day. And let your heart palpitations go down if you're a, a Bills fan. Because, hey, all I can say is there are some pretty good years to come. God's blessings be with you.